Welcome back, everybody. Let's get to story. All right, back to plot. I went and bought that other belt and upgraded it. <laughs> He's lying. We'll leaving for Rosario as soon as we're able. There's no use for money, so fuck it. Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive. Not since the Imperial. Rosaria ain't what she used to be. Uh, trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Okay. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, yeah. don't get too I'm touchy. I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. You take care, all right? Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? He's out in Rosaria, you told us. He gets back. I will. We're going to Rosaria. Guess who else is going? Hey! Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady. Ready. Good. Our dog came in too. Doggo is getting very upset. Why are you so upset? Because she wants to fight. Go fight. <laughs> Go fight the demon. Yeah. Already doing it. <laughs> she was already out the door as I was saying it. Clive? Do you think penguins dream? <laughs> My god, I <laughs> asked Sid the same thing! Rosaria. <laughs> Smell of the grass. It's just as I remember. What do you think they dream about? You haven't been back either. <laughs> Ice shavings. <laughs> I know you're not using a weaker sword just to fucking have something different on the screen. I am. <laughs> Boy, you better change that shit back until we get an upgraded weapon. It's not that much different. It's only lowered by like 25. That's pretty significant. I was terrified. <laughs> Afraid to go back. I know. But I'm here now. And I'm here with you. Aww. Aww. So cute. We should press on. Lead the way, Torgal. Or not, that's cool. At the top of the hill must be Martha's rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. Oh, <laughs> we're doing role play. I see you, Clive. <laughs> Jill, not now. <laughs> Not that way. I want you to shoot the elk. I'm curious as to what point we would actually get a stronger weapon. What what power is that one we were using? I think it's like 160. Yeah, 160 versus my 135. 160, the we would get... I feel like it's like right at Titan. Invictus is 165, and that's... Bahamut's? No, no. Stormcry is like one weapon before Here, this. You couldn't give me an iron, could you? So Invictus is from the holding on story. 
bloody bearer. And just when I thought my luck had changed. Oh, it's after we fix the bridge. A crumb of crystal hmm. than an empty hand, I suppose. So we're right there. So it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? I need your help. These blasted birds must have caught a whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. And as funny leaked as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. Yeah, I guess. Fine. That's the spirit. All right. Here. Are you going to turn that you card over? Stable, master, no Not our guess. problem. He could have asked I us to do that. Instead, we're just on a uh, Be off with you, then. on a delivery mission. Go taking any detours on the way. What a bird wants. <laughs> I heard it's just seed. Just walk up to these bees and fucking phoenix flame them. <laughs> Who wants to have be a problem today? Sick of total. And they're all dead. God, that feels so good. Yeah. You know what? Why? <laughs> <laughs> We're eating good tonight, Torgal. They came back to see what was taking him so long. <laughs> Get him. There, boy. Get him, boy. Sick of Torgal. You do a backflip? What, have you never seen him do a backflip? <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah. He does backflips. There was only money off of those. Where did the antelopes get the money? Those weren't antelopes. Iguana? I can't aim down. What were they? Here we are. What? Martha's rest. They're what, dead now. What were they? I don't know. But they weren't antelopes. I didn't have a bit. I just... Oh. <laughs> I got derailed by the iguana. I couldn't think. Master, I was asked to deliver this to you. Here, this sealed crate that I had perfect in my pocket. Right Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. Where's that fool of a peddler got to? He couldn't come himself. His cart's surrounded by wild chocobos. Hmm. Sounds about right. Have it full of geese, all greens, no doubt. Crowned with him, if I know him. He's all greens. Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the car up tight, the smell gets out, and birds come running from miles around. Sounds like a him problem. Don't get me wrong. They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant, especially around these parts. But you can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard way. Still, I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards. <laughs> Pulls out mirror. He says thank you. <laughs> Why did the gill thing come up if you don't get gill? Good girl. You get some rest now. Yes. You barely have <laughs> to step out your front door. Martha's rest. I wonder if Martha is as friendly as Gav claims. Let's go and find out, shall we? Very good to East Pool, even in the park. Sup, bitches? Who's Martha? My quest marker says I need to speak to you. <laughs> Excuse me. Would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking. 
and why they have an imperial bearer with them. Oh, he just likes the armor. Don't worry about that. Won't be needed. If you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rose area. Even a strapping lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. Oh shit, you know one of their names. Alright, who the fuck are you? Yeah. And are you actually a bearer? Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer. Was Benedicta also an old friend? We don't talk about her. That's you. Oh. He has a thing for women dressed in green. Where is it mm. you're headed? The Phoenix Gate. So you're saying I have a chance. <laughs> we have questions that need answering. <laughs> Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. A right blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. And he hasn't come back. Aw, oh, shit. Carry on my way, wish him. <laughs> Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. And your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. <laughs> sounds like the whole town would be, so uh what am I getting from job. the town? Right. Man, free shelter. Man, I hate the marshes. I hate that the AC makes it hard for me to hear shit. Yeah, because every like fifth or sixth word I'll hear. His name is Bernard. Should you find? I gotta, I gotta shut you out completely and focus on hearing what they're saying to hear what's going on. Yeah. Oh, she's giving us eleven hundred dollary dues. Or is that XP's? It looked like Let's money. Guess we'll find out when we find that carpenter. And find Bernard. Wait, go back up and to the to Clive's right. This do, you gotta, do you gotta pass that to access it? It already activated. Okay, okay so we got this as a teleport spot. Mm -hmm. Here's the gate. Yeah, because this is a huge area. Oh. <laughs> I just appeared behind you. Oh, yeah. I don't care what your orders are, Brandon. Ah, get away from me. What was that? It came from Oh god, Fuck freaky you, I lobster won't do things. What you tell me. We accidentally burned the man alive. Right. You know what to do, boy. I'll probably be putting all of these episodes together tomorrow and post and uh, uploading them. Okay, probably a good idea. Oh yeah, because we need to do. Um, I feel like we're catching up on Pokemon too. No, Pokemon's good till August. Is it? Yeah, August okay. 5th. Is it all uploaded? Mm hmm. Okay. Thank you, my lady. Okay. Yeah. You saved my life. Platinum's not done, but what we have is uh, completely I uploaded. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished Super checking nine. these piles when I turned around and. I see a gang of slavering monsters. It's an old Gang Gross remix the where they're flesh. talking about Bernard the if you Biscuit. Hadn't come when you mm. did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. I'm <laughs> just glad you're safe. Snipping strips. I'm just going to give my regards to the landlady then, hey? Actually, 
That was like John Tron get era game. Oh god. Yeah. That's old old. Oh yeah, that's over ten years. Game Grumps has been going, I think, 13, 14 years. Mm -hmm. Fuck, Dylan's getting ready to um, uh, celebrate his 15th year. That's crazy, isn't it? Right? Well, he was doing shit before we watched him. Yeah. United Gamer. I kind of wish we, we didn't fall off on that. I don't keep up with them as much. Yeah, that was a nice little era. Marbles and Pokemon. I never done in no time. We kind of went on our own thing once we got used to their rules, and then we started doing Baton Pass, and that's around the time we stopped watching. Because mm -hmm. we, we take so much content for Pokemon. Yeah. That being said, I'm currently watching um, Picaspre play through two different Pokemon ROM hacks to see mm -hmm. if they're worth doing. Okay. Recharged Yellow is basically Fire Red, Leaf Green, but Yellow. Okay, that's cool. And um, reworked to have all sorts of quality of life stuff. If I can find that, uh, Polished Crystal is pretty cool in the sense of um, there some Pokemon have new typings. Um, the bridge will be fixed. The, some stuff is redone. The, the gems are harder. Uh, there's all sorts of cool shit to it. Like, what? <laughs> did you just teleport? Mm hmm. I thought there was a timer on the screen to go there. Oh, you're back. What happened? No, it was a timer to teleport. We did. Oh. He's fine. And he'll um, have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. Like, he's playing through uh, Polished Crystal doing a monotype water challenge. Okay. The creatures out there and, um,. Like, it's fault. Nothing to eat in the north. Uh, for alligator, he got a for alligator before beating Bugsy. Mm. Because that he didn't have anything to stop that scyther. Yeah. For alligator is a dark type now, so he had a little bit of issue with that. Okay. Um. Octillery is is water fire. Because of Octazuka. Just because he's a tank. Okay. I guess. Um, and the way he plays it is he'll he'll just have the Pokemon he wants and only catch like the six. So where he's at, he's got a... Oh, and they don't use up items when you evolve with an item. Mm -hmm. So he got a Politoed, a Slowking... For alligator, there were more of them when we were young, far more. Uh, artillery, and there's a fifth because he, he's missing one. They've been sent away. What was the fifth one? They have, I mean, either to the legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping it. up with demand of late, but so the bearers make up the shortfall. Um, it looks it looks like a lot of fun, and they got a lot of cool um, like shortcuts. Like you can go out of uh, Goldenrod to the left, and you're in the bay outside of Olivine. Okay, because that's where you would be if you surf from there over. You would just end up in Olivine. Yeah. Congratulations on a new arrival. And you got a little laddie with you. It was a bearer. A boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison. I let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, he weren't my brother, was he? No, of no. course not, you little shit. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? All right. I'm kill everyone at that table. Clive, no. Bearers may have been locked down on the back in out. Duke Elwin's day, but they were still uh. human beings. Now, they've fallen so far. Beggar wouldn't spit on him. It's 
since you're not drinking, do me a favor and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness, the heart of this world. And I'd have you see it. At the Abbey? Yeah. There's always something evil happening at a church. And we'll see it at an Abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. It was okay, good, then. honest work. What do you have? What are you after? I don't know. What do you got? I got that valley uh, matter. Take care mm. there, eh? <laughs> got that valley matter on me. Damn. Fuck. Shut up. <laughs> got him. I, I got assaulted by that yell and I was like, fuck. Fight mode kicked in. <laughs> I knew that children were tested, that a bearer's fate was decided at birth, and assumed it was best for all concerned. I know, but for a child to be blamed, to be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. I snatched that bee right out of the air. Freya poked her head and her ears are back and then just like looked in and looked away. Ah, <laughs> uh, you missed me. Idiot. Get him, Torgal. <laughs> Good dog. Oh, that's a rare chocobo. <laughs> Tear into him. You weren't domesticated, so you must die. Oh, right. Those give decent uh, AP. Uh huh. Forgot about that, because that's not where I grinded that. <laughs> they are quite important. Oh, fuck you, bees. Oh, the, the chocobo got hit, too. That's fine. Man, what Square the up. fuck? I was <laughs> over there! <laughs> Where are you there? Nice. Wish there was an item to bring up AP early game. There's the Abbey. What darkness awaits us within? Stay I over there. Let's go and see. Should there's a better AP grind. So that's really all I need. Need to buy abilities at this point. Good day to you. To the AP grind here. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grigor go with you. Also with you. Also, Martha says hi. I don't need to believe in your fake gods. Just roll up to a church and call them out. <laughs> That's what Luther did. <laughs> See, this is this is how we start religion wars. Then please, follow me. I never want to die. 
Please, Father. Help me with the pain. Thank you. The light. My fate. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent they got the stone sickness. They're getting stoned. For the time yeah. They have left. In a manner of speaking, yes. Nice. Damn. Have you tried using a gold needle? Have you tried telling them to stop it? Yeah, that always works. The curse has taken them. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that. But we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. Ooh, he's dying. His fate's a little rocky. Faith, my son, mm. for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Look on the bright side, son. At least you get to hang out in the garden for the rest of your life. <laughs> Thank you, Father. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Uh, their final moments may be moments of peace. It's just extra potion of stone. Mm. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that Two more have succumbed. Shame. We should get back to Martha's rest. Yes, we should. Oh, yeah, sweet. Awesome. What? We can just teleport. Oh, nice. That saves a lot of time. Ah, you're back. Thanks for taking care of that. No problem. Two more we succumbed or what, what not. Two more have succumbed. I see. It's a downright shame. Come upstairs. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift. So they strip them of their humanity instead. <coughs> oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength. What little of it I have. Use profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours? Aye, they're my property, at least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who have passed mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You've got questions that need answering, ain't you? 
Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. So Canver is where the, the big one that I used to grind happened. Mm -hmm. Until then, it's just farm bluebirds. Ah, uh, okay. Shame. I was wondering if there would be any, like, updates with the DLC. Probably not, because I know at least one of them involves Joshua. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And so you'd have to be dead. at least that far into the game. And I think around that time that we oh, encounter wait. him, I think is around that time where it's like the upgraded AP grind. I don't know what chapter Canva is, but that... When we get there, we can just stop and grind out however much we want. Okay. Sid. Oh, Clive. You're not where I left you. Oh, you're here. Uh, yeah. You're not where I left you. <laughs> <laughs> huh, interesting. A thousand little lightning bolts. It's I'll starting. Around the way I used to. Think of it as... My decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. Well, now you know. Clive, would you still love me if I were a stone monster? <laughs> That's the spirit said. <laughs> I don't know what's in that cigar. You could already be stoned. If you want to leave, <laughs> that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid. <laughs> oh. I knew a girl back in the day. Was, was it Martha? It was, was it Benedicta? Friend, just like you. To save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. I'm no savior. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got oh, to no. say... Oh no, controller's dying. Well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate. So does this mean that you'll love me if it be in the icon of fight? <laughs> You've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> Try. And Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk, but I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. Oh, she hates that. <laughs> For one more day. This 
go. Oh, so after this quest, uh, you can buy a sword that's stronger than the Cortana. Oh, wow, okay. Green sheaves. Oh, okay. Sonic boom, Sonic boom. Pushing yet more monsters down with it. I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. There was a side quest open. Was there? Yeah. Oh, well, oh, shit. There's a couple. Well, let's go do those, I guess. How'd you activate Sonic Boom? He just does it. When you're out in the wild, he just gets an extra... Yeah, there it goes, I guess. Let me just shut the fuck up and let him run. Does one of these give us the chocobo? Or is that later? I, I think that's story for later. Like, there's another part. I want to say it's in East Pool that we get it. Have to find him. This is East Pool, so... But maybe that's why I think it's I here. Now I... Oh, you're Clive, aren't you? Martha told me all about you. Word is you're a devil with that blade. You look like you're in a hurry. Where are you going? Not far, I hope. But I dare not waste a moment. It might cost a man his life. Sounds serious. What happened? Not so much what happened as what might. They've discovered he's a bearer, see? And now, one of his erstwhile friends and neighbors wants to see him clapped in chains. Where is this bearer? He wasn't fool enough to wait for the Imperials to arrive. Poor sod took to the road, left his whole life behind. But they'll be after him before long. I need to find him and get him to safety, fast. Here. If you've the time and the inclination, I could do with a hand. Will you help me find him? Yeah, sure, why not? Of course. We bearers have to look out for each other. Thank you, Clive. With your help, we might catch up with him yet. His name's Norris. We need to find him and get him to Martha Norris. before the appearance. Norris. You found him yet? You won't catch Norris Ducks. Like Yaddy. That fucking snake Why made me friends? false. Acted like he was one of us, and the old time he was one of them. We need him. Why are we roommates? The Imperials. <laughs> too good for well, Why do we run a YouTube channel together? Away, I don't know. You fitted for a noose. All right, Why do we think we're funny? Because we've always just... We were going to be doing this anyway. Might as well attempt to make money off of it, I guess. I guess. Not bloody likely. That's it. I'll find the bastard myself. Come on now, Ron. It's dangerous out there. We wouldn't want you to come to any harm. You want something done right. You don't send a bearer. Clive. But what if I did? Take a while. You start hunting our man, and I'll be along once I put Ronald's mind at ease. Someone said they saw Norris heading for the Fallen Gate. Maybe you could ask if anyone over that way knows anything. We have to find him. Don't let him slip through our grasp. I'm on it. I'd better find this Norris before Ronald takes matters into his own hands. There is a hardly difficult to spot. What did he mean about being played false, I wonder? Here, you're that bearer who works for Martha, aren't you? Can you give me a hand? Curse my luck. I dropped my crystal off a cliff into the bloody swamp like an utter fool. Why would you do now, such a I've thing? I've got your knack, see, and I need that shard to chill my fish if I'm to take him to market. But it's just a short climb down. I'll make it worth your while. I can't promise anything. Well, just promise you'll look. Ah, there may be one thing I failed to mention about the crystal. A creature might have already claimed it. Claimed it? He ate it. All right, eaten it, but, but, but only might have, you understand. There were a lot of bog crabs down there. Nasty buggers, them. <sighs> Sounds like I need to break a few shells. Oh, don't worry. There, there, there weren't too many of them. A veritable walk in the marsh, as they say. The ladders, right over there. Bring back samples of their, of their flesh, if you will. Sells for a good price. And I want to sell it, not you. Yeah. Yes. Mm. 
Good price, you say. Damn bears. You can't trust them with anything. Oh, god dang. Never heard of crabs eating the crystal. I would be terrified if a crab was that big. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like regular sized crabs can break bone. These motherfuckers can rob you. <laughs> Teleporting for quests well, is so such a good, good thing. Yours, I presume. You found it, oh, thank you. You're welcome. Free supply of fish. Any longer out in the sun, and my catch would have made for poor eating indeed. Be more careful next time. Oh, I will, I promise. No point casting my nets of a morning if I'm without a crystal to see the catch to town. There was a time honest taxpaying folk could get new ones whenever they wanted. Can't now, though, not for love nor money. Crystals are scarce, and the Empire tightens its purse strings more every day. Lose this little beauty again, and I might as well scrap my nets and take to begging. I want to move to a fishing town. Yeah, but if you're a fisher in a fishing town, how many other fishers do you have to compete with to sell your stuff? Everyone, but I mean, there are traveling merchants. No man called Norris, do you? I do, as it happens. He ran off that way not too long back. Looked like he was in a right all hurry. And he had a lantern with him for some reason. Never known him to stay out after dark. He was making for the marshes then. All right. Thank you. Can I jump down there? No. Damn. Why'd you be able to jump <sighs> down there? Okay, long way it is then. You barely have to step out your front door before you're set up by me. That's one of our branded. Do we take him in? He's not one of ours. Try it. Go far. I better keep my eyes peeled. Their eyes would fucking spin around in their head if you just looked, if you just said you can try. Yeah. A lantern. The one Norris was carrying, no doubt. At least I know which way he went. Someone made sure work of them. I wonder if that someone was Norris. Hey man, you doing okay? Ooh, what's that? Treasure chest? Were those your bloody hides? <laughs> They're mine now. They're mine now. You were never branded. So that's how you stayed hidden. Ronald sent you after me, did he? Set an imperial dog on his best friend. And when we were so close. Quite the opposite. I'll never forget the hatred in his eyes. But it doesn't matter now. I will not become a slave. As one bearer to another, please. Don't do this. You know how they treat our kind. Ronald didn't send me. One of Martha's men did. He wanted to make sure you were safe. I don't understand. Martha takes in bearers. She's a friend. 
You can trust her. Believe me. I've known her for a day. She hasn't betrayed me yet. I can't say I'm surprised, though. She has a kind heart. Kinder than most. Just wait here and stay out of sight. You'll be among friends soon enough. Thank you. There's few would have been so kind. And sorry. You're no Imperial dog. Far from it. Save. I've been called worse. Oh. I found a lantern back there. I assume it's yours. Thanks. I dropped it when those creatures attacked me. But if I'm honest, I wasn't all that sorry to be rid of it. Rung gave it to me. All right. I'll keep hold of it. I might be able to use it to put an end to the Imperial Surge before it begins. A bear without a brand. To have lived free for so many years. I need to be I'll just tell him you're dead. Yeah. If I'm leaving this to a bear. There you are, Clive. How goes the search? Well, found his branded. lantern. You found the he dead. Yet? Only what was left of him. A corpse torn apart by monsters. And this. Let me see that. No. It can't be. Shall we consider that the end of the matter then? Or do you need to see a body? No, no. I, I mean, I've no use for bearer bones. He's dead. Let that be an end to it. And he wished those whose job it was had done what they were supposed to do and spotted him sooner. Letting a bearer go about without a brand? It's not right, I tell you. Who want anything to do with me now, eh? There goes the bearer lover, they'll say. I'll be a laughing stock. True, Clive. Is Norris really? He's alive. You'll find him in a hut in the marshes. He's expecting you. Oh, you crafty. Still, you did the right thing. Thank you. It's not much considering, but please, take this. I'm gonna get triple after I bring his body in. Abrupt quest ending. <laughs> yeah. Here, take this. Boom. All right, there's two of the three quests. Cool. And the other one is on the way to East Pool, I believe. Yeah, I think so. So let's get to the end of this bridge here, and we will see you guys in the next one. Let's see if Clyde will start doing his run shit. Do it. Do a sonic boom. Sonic boom. Sonic boom. Do it. Yay! Yeah. You did it. see a spider in my room <laughs> oh my god god it hit those guys from all the way out there i didn't realize the range on it yeah we need to upgrade that if it's hitting that hard and that far out just imagine when we had it at full power yeah holy shit i'm working on it i'm getting the how points how much is it to upgrade it i want to say it's like in the 2000s. Does it have three stages or is it just the two? I think it's just the two stage. Yeah, 2390. No upgrade. It doesn't say master. Mm. So then the f third stage I think is like 4000 and something. Mm. That sucks. I hate that we're spending so much points on just one skill. Yeah. There's really nothing else to buy, though. Like, I can master these, and I can put them on, or I can upgrade these. I'm not really using that, but I could take... What's that one in the middle? Is that the one where you grab, like, you charge towards them? On the Phoenix. Gambit. 
Uh, this heat wave. Oh, what's the one where? There's one where you um, you fucking put fire in your hand and charge. That's probably a freets. Oh, you're when right. When we get it. Yep. Could do aerial blast and then just get rid of this, and then I'll have two of those. Two ultimate abilities going. Good stagger. Yeah. That's kind of cool. What do you mean I let... Oh, okay. 1540. All, All right, right. We'll see you guys in the next one.